hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you so much for watching y'all thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 um this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it um First off, I want to say happy Sunday to everyone. I hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful day. I had to take a little break yesterday because I was overworked Friday, y'all. So, um, I have to start with this one right here, y'all. Okay? Because I have done so, you know, my day ones, twos, and threes, they all know that I have put so much time into this. And, you know, I don't just... You know, go by what people send me. I do a lot of research. I talk to people. Like, you know, I, I really dig into some things before I say what I say about some stuff. Okay, y'all? So, but even though I still say alleged and all of that good stuff. Okay? Because people be, you know, on some bull crap sometimes. Okay? So, you know, I always still say alleged and all that. Um, this one here. I know too much about y'all since 2020 I have been digging and digging and digging until the record labels and a lot of stuff that's why I've been finding out some things I put what I learned with other stuff that people send me to and when it match up um this one right here y'all believe me when I say I know about this I know about this one okay it's not no quick homework search it is Hours and hours and hours of digging and digging and digging for years now. It's 2022. And I started on this 2020. So, um, first off, I want to say this. I don't believe no one is sabotaging Empire. Okay, y'all? And, you know, I don't like to tell my subscribers, go, go subscribe to somebody's page. And then somebody's page sends them off. Okay, y'all? And it's no jabs at a person. It's just when you start doing YouTube, people just, you know, you go from one video to another. And sometimes you, you know, you don't cover the surface. You don't do enough digging to find out what really is underneath. Okay. So this one right here, I had to open up my mouth and say something about because I don't want people to be stirred into the wrong direction. Okay. Um, I, this is my belief right here from what I have found and dug up on one and all the stuff that I don't want. This one right here has taken me all over the place, y'all. Okay? Um from their 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 backgrounds and everything. From and I want you all to go if you don't believe what I'm about to tell you, then um you know, go back to some of my old videos. That's another thing. Go in my description box to some of my old videos. And you will pull up the video, you know, the videos and, you know, where I got my information from and everything, okay? On this one, okay, y'all? Um, this A-Rap, I'm just going to say it like it is. I'm not going to bite my tongue for nobody, okay? This A-Rap right here was a wannabe rapper. This is what he started off as. He wanted to make the money like the African Americans is out here balling off of this thing called rap okay and <clears throat> what i got from this was he could not make it in a rap game so he went underground y'all and when i say he went underground he went underground he not only studied the art he studied the people he studied african americans he got with somebody i forgot his name at Et at nanon or something like that i i have to look it up okay but it's in my old videos okay he got with this guy and he made this guy a business partner because he's very likable okay he's very manipulative toward you know african americans and they went at so much as to you know spend a night at african americans houses so they can read them, get to know them, see what they like, how easy, it, you know, how vulnerable they are. Okay. When I say studied, I mean studied. He said it out of his own mouth. Okay. So go back to some of his old interviews. He's telling on his own self. Not only is he telling on himself, 
his Adnan Ram. I can't say the name right. It's some kind of Arab name. Uh, but his business partner also tells, you know, he lets cats out the bag too. Okay, y'all. Um, I think it was like three interviews that they did or four that they was letting people know that this was about business. Okay. And I've also learned that they don't really like blacks at all. Okay, y'all. These two right here that I'm talking about. Um, yes, he said that he started this business to help African Americans out that was in the rap game and they were getting, you know, he felt that they were getting mistreated. Well, I think getting mistreated is, you know, not worse than getting, you know, buried. Okay, y'all? Um, it's so much. <laughs> it's so much. I told y'all, I have studied this one for a long time. Not only to have I studied it, I ran across someone that knows that's in their circle. Okay, y'all? I ran across someone that's in their circle circle and this person admitted y'all this person admitted that it's a joke to them they sit back and you know the founders of empire and their business partners they sit back and they laugh allegedly this is what i was told a long time ago that they laugh and they talk about how you know they started off in one way doing other things but now they're full circle you know, whole purpose right now is to sign artists that are controversy, okay? Because it pays. This is what they sit back and they laugh and they talk about. So please don't be, please don't get steered off where we been, okay? I put too much time in this for anybody to come and say, I don't believe that this is this and this is that. And like I said, I'm not trying to start a war with nobody, okay, y'all? But, you know, I'm going to stick up for what I believe in my research, okay, y'all? This one right here, Empire, I don't believe that they are getting sabotaged, okay, y'all? I don't care, you know, I don't care. I'm going to speak up for what I believe in, okay? Um, they said on an interview, now, first I want to talk about the masters because I don't want these up-and-coming rap artists to believe this bull crap that they he's trying to help them that he's not he brags about it and everything okay allegedly and his business partner they laugh about it as well okay they try to pretend just like when you know one of them did an interview talking about um xxx um he did an interview talking about xxx just at the mom guy okay and when he did that interview you know, people were saying to him, you know, like I told y'all, you know, it pays though when something do happen to him. And he laughed. He laughed about, he also let a cat out the bag about the lawyers that they put on to the rappers. The lawyers is with the labels, <laughs> y'all, okay? Empire is very slick about what they do, allegedly, y'all. They have lawyers that, they, that appoints to rappers and those lawyers the lawyers are against the rappers they are along with the label but the the art you know the artists don't know it okay um so they laughed he laughed about it and he was like yeah it is you know good on one hand to when an artist passed away because you know they get paid off of it now i know y'all said somebody just said that they only get 10 or 20 percent no that is not true that is so, so not true. Now, let's get back to the masters, y'all. Okay? Remember when I told y'all about, you know, some artists be like, oh, we signed a, uh, I don't know, I forgot all of the slang, what they use about 360 deals and uh, 50, 50 deals and 20, 80 deals at all. Okay? It does not matter what deal that you sign with this death pyre, y'all. It does not matter. And I'm telling y'all, I know this for sure. In that same interview, that Def Pyre, you know, the person who's over Def Pyre, that same interview that, you know, he said, you know, he only did this to help artists. I want y'all to listen to that whole interview. And not only listen to that interview, listen to his other interview, okay? And he is going to explain something. 
And he's going to get a little uncomfortable when he gets to this portion, when he's explaining it, y'all. Okay? He's going to break it down. And somebody's going to ask him a question. And they're going to say, so you hold on to their master. So, it, you know, basically you hold their masters until they pay you back. And he says, yes. It's a part of the business, y'all. Now, let me tell you, don't, do not let anybody steer you away from the truth. Okay? And like I told you, if I'm wrong about something, I will, I'm the first person that will come back on here and say I'm wrong. But I'm not wrong about this. Okay? Death Pyre signs artists. It does not matter what kind of deal that he give you. If he tell you you get 90%, he get 10%. It does not matter what he tells you. Because if you don't live, y'all, that's a very important word right there. If you don't live, you cannot have a percentage. If you're dead, okay, that's number one. Number two, when a person comes around looking for some kind of deal, okay, I'm trying to shop around, get a deal from somebody, whether it be distribution, whatever it is, okay. When, a, when people come to this label right here, okay, and I know somebody said that they're not a record label, that they're just a distribution um, place. They started off as being distribution, y'all. They are a record label now, okay? That's how much they didn't grew off of the backs of African Americans, y'all, okay? Now, let's get back to this deal, okay? This is how I can best break this down. If you go to Death Pyre, you must sign a contract, okay? You must sign an insurance policy that if something happens to you, they get paid, all right. Um, another thing that's a red flag for this deal is Death Pirate don't really even want you to tell anybody that you're with them. Okay, y'all? I want y'all to think about that. That's very important. If somebody don't want you to spread the word that you're with them, and, you, and people don't find out until after you're gone that you, are, you did a deal with these people, then, you know, it don't bring up a lot of red flags. They can get their check, and they can go about their business if they care to put it out there or not, okay? Now they go ahead and put it out there because people be digging for it, okay? Um, now, let's get back to the masters. Whatever deal, like I said, you sign with them. 10%, 20%, 50 50 whatever deal. You sign with these people for a distribution at the time because now, like I said, it's a record label. You sign this deal. And they hold, they have a hold on your masters until you pay them back. Now, if a person comes to you for any kind of deal in the first place, that means they need the money. Okay, y'all? So if somebody gives you five, ten million dollar deal and they hold on to your 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 masters, if you are not a true hustler and you don't um you don't invest right. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be hard to pay back that money. So if you don't pay that money back, then that person owns your master. Okay, y'all? Um, and like I said, nine times out of ten, when somebody want to do a deal, they need the money in the first place. So when they get that money, the majority of the people that they are signing, which are a lot of rappers that, you know, a lot of them ain't hustlers. Real hustlers. The hustle back five and ten million dollars, okay? So they end up not ever giving this person that money back. It's very few people that has bought their masters back. Okay, y'all? So you get this check, they get this check in their hand. These young guys, that all that they're um a lot of them are hooked on street pharmacy stuff, y'all. Okay, that's number one. A lot of them is materialistic they are always bad name brand stuff oh uh, they like the flashiness the the women's the cars so nine times out of ten okay this person that you signed that deal with they know what you're going to spend the money on in the first place because they have studied you they know what y'all about they know it's about the cars let's go get some rims okay 
instead of, you know, invest and do other things. See, this is the difference between some rappers and rappers like Doss, okay? Rappers like Mo3 that was very stingy, that was going to invest his money and not just blow it off. He was going to steal shine, but he was going to put a lot of that money up, invest, and he was going to grow. Mo3 was the, the up-and-coming Dolph when it came to... Um, when it came to making money, he was going to go in that direction. Like you was going to hear some years down that dog, that Mo3, you know, had a hundred million dollars. Okay. You was going to hear that easily because he was stacking money before he even signed deals. Okay. Y'all. So he was headed in that direction. Okay. Especially with his talent and everything. He had a, you know, an extra thing that he could do. That Dolph couldn't, y'all. Dolph was a storyteller, okay? He was good at what he do. But Mo3 was a storyteller, plus he could sing, y'all, okay? And when you have extra talents, people are jealous of you. Look at Aaliyah, okay? Aaliyah was a triple threat, y'all, okay? And she was at, she was good, as, just as good in acting as she was with her music. And people are jealous of things like that, okay? So, let's get back to, you know, just, just, just masters, okay, y'all? That people want you to believe, oh, they only get 10% uh, when they sign, and then they get 10% after you're gone. That's a lie, okay, y'all? I told y'all, I know somebody on the inside. So, when they when when they sign somebody and especially somebody like I told you that's out here you know splurging in street pharmacy stuff themselves and just reckless with their money, then they says cha ching, okay? He's never gonna pay us back, so we owns him, y'all. We own him, okay? It's a form of slavery, y'all. Okay? It's a form of slavery. And then after these artists get signed and they see the bad deal that they have or the distribution deal that they have ain't no different than the regular labels. Then, you know, they, they start singing about, you know, God and all this other stuff when they send their minions on them. Okay, y'all. So do not, do not believe this. Okay. When these artists pass away, whether it be a distribution deal whether it be, you know, a label deal. The deal is, if you, something happens to you, I get this insurance money, okay? I hold on to those masters as well. And I can sell them or I can keep them and just make money. It's their choice, okay? Now, let me tell you something that we all know. And we know this for sure. Mo3, his contract was up with Empire in seven days, y'all. Okay? Seven days. This tells you right here that it's not about somebody setting somebody up, okay? Ain't nobody sabotaging no Empire, okay? One of just one. Just this just is an example of one, y'all. Okay? Mo three's contract was up in seven days. He had seven days, y'all. And he would have been free of Empire. Death Pyre is what I call them. Okay, y'all? And he was taken out before that seven days ended. Now let me tell you something. If all the artists was trying to sabotage him. And people didn't like him that was around him. That's I know that's working with him allegedly. They would have let Mo3 live so that they could sign Mo3. And get him away from under that distribution deal. And they get a piece of that pie. Okay, y'all? Who stood to gain most out of Mo3 being taken out? Ask yourself this question, y'all. Who stood to gain with Mo3 being taken out? Did other record labels stand to gain by taking Mo3 out? No. Because if, if Mo3 would have made it out that seven days contract, 
ending, he could have signed with someone else. You saw the talent. They saw he was on the rise. Why not snatch him up and put him up, up in a hotel for seven days? If this was the truth, y'all, and you know how the industry works, why not snatch Mo3 up, put him in a hotel somewhere off or in a big home somewhere and tell him to chill out till your contract up so we can sign this paperwork? That would have hurt Empire more, taking his money. Okay, y'all? See, this is how you have to think. If you really want to outdo the next record label or whatever, and you seeing that somebody's contract is up, let's go on vacation till them days is up because we don't want no accidents. Okay? You let it s just sit. Don't even answer the phone to your manager, all this stuff. Just, 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 just chill. Okay? Because you, we seeing artists is dropping like flies. And we want to make sure it don't happen to you because you're a good talent. So, the seven days are up. You get this artist to sign with you because this artist is Geek T's even posting posts saying that he can't wait to get his CMG chains and all this other stuff, okay? So, this is how you hurt somebody if you really want to take away from Empire, okay? Like I told y'all, when people leave Empire, it's a deal made. Just like 42 Doug. 42 Doug wasn't just given to CMG like that, okay? It was a deal made because these guys have meetings together, allegedly. Okay, y'all? So don't let people make you think that he's innocent. He's not. Mo3 being taken out, the if you follow the money, him being taken out would have hurt the new record labels, not hurt the old the record label that he was signed with. It only puts money in his pocket, okay? And when you go to all of these deceased, demised rappers, when you go to their clothing lines and all of that stuff, you know whose name is under? It's not under their family's name. If it's all about the distribution deal and helping these artists, then why when they pass, why all of their jackets, all of their hoodies, all of their t-shirts, all of this stuff is in Death Pyre's name. It's on their web page. It's not on their family member's web page. If they care about the artist so much, then why don't they just drop five, ten thousand dollars on a funeral? Why do people have to scrape money together to, to bury King Von, y'all? Do not let people tell you something and you just run with it, okay? That right there, oh no. When I first started doing YouTube, you know, I like a good debate, y'all. <laughs> I like to challenge people. It doesn't mean I hate the person. It doesn't mean um, I'm jealous of the person. It means, okay, this person is on top. Let's see what, you know, let's debate with them about certain things. To just, you know, stir up some things. Okay, y'all? And I'm going to just break it down like this. When I first came in, you know, Tasha K and things like that. I would go to the videos and I would just watch. She was, I watched her before. And then she would, you know, when she did the Jaguar, I just branched off because I was like, that was wrong. I just felt that way. And I have came to respect Tasha K much, much more than when I started off. Because I know her work, at, her, her work ethics. I know um, she got a lot on her plate, y'all. Because this is a lot. Trying to keep up with everything, all the messages, all the stuff you want to look up your own self to make sure. Because if you can't look up everything. Uh, you won't even be putting out anything until it's old and gone, okay? But when you're, you're invested in something, invested in getting to the bottom of why all of these artists are being taken out, and people that try to be an artist... 
they're the ones that's making the money off of these artists now and they're not doing one show and they are richer than the artists that's out here doing going from country to country okay y'all it's just like tlc y'all tlc was out there doing all these shows but they was broke but their record label was living large okay y'all so i want y'all to think about all of this okay i have learned so many things since i started and i'm still learning y'all i'm still learning Okay, it's some things that I, you know, I don't like that I did. It's some things that, you know, I've I try I corrected, but I'm still learning. And like I said, I learned from the best. I've learned from people like Tasha K that then got out here. And I know there's a lot of people that don't like her, but she like I said, she just she she paved the way just like Wendy Williams. Okay. And taught people another way. Okay, now whichever way you choose, that's on you. And, of course, you're going to have a lot of people come at you. I had guys gang up on me, a whole bunch of bloggers. And, you know, I lost respect for that. You know, I saw how they did Mo3 on that expressway. And when they came at me, I, I just looked at it as, you know, well, they did the same thing to Jesus. Okay, y'all? They turned on him. They, you know, this is how I look at it. And I keep going. When you get a whole pack of men that come at one person and a female at that that just goes to show, show you the dirtiness of the what what they won't do in Dallas the guys that's all into this little circle what they won't do okay now lately I'm gonna say this I'm gonna say this and you know we all know what it is over here on this page okay you know and I'm all over the place right now but I'm not at the same time I'm going to say this. I'm going to call a truth with someone. Okay? I am going to call a truth with, truth with um, Wretched right now. That And I don't want y'all to think that this means we're buddies and this and that and that and this. I'm going to call a little truth with him. As long as he respects my name, then I will respect his. Okay, y'all? I will respect his and I will leave him out of when I'm, you know, going at the people that just like Mr. Boom Boom, okay? They like to go at Pete talk about everybody and their mamas and all of this stuff. So I'm gonna call it truth with wretched right now, y'all. Okay? And this the only reason is because, you know, he has been making it known from page to page saying that he did not or was not a part of what countdown John was saying. Okay, now, whether I believe the whole thing or not, I'm not going to say right now. Okay, y'all? But I'm going to say this. I'm going to call a truth with him. Okay? Um, I still be on the, on the, you know, on the, I don't know. I be on the fence about certain things. Because I feel like as a man, if somebody lies on you, you come to that person and you say to that person, you know, I didn't play a part in it. But what he has done is went to several people's pages. He even went to True Results and told him that he didn't have a problem with me. So, I'm going to just leave it there for now. Okay, y'all? So, I don't have a problem with him. You know, I had a problem with him when I heard about all of this mess. I had a problem when he reached out to me on my IG and was telling me this the story that sounds so unbelievable, which made me feel like you was in with the in crowd. But now he wants to say he had nothing to do with it. And he's telling everybody that he has no problem with me. So I don't have a problem with him either. Okay, we're going to let bygones be bygones. But just know my guard's going to stay up with all of them. Okay, y'all? Because it is what it is. Okay, y'all? So I am going to say that. I'm going to call the truth with him. All right. I don't mind calling the truth with nobody, but I'm gonna call the truth with him. I call the truth with true results. Okay. And I tried to come to his defense, you know, because he's going through some stuff right now over there. Okay. And if you're for the cause, then that's going to show. That's going to show if you're for the cause or if you just for, you know, trying to get paid because a lot of people are starting to stuff is starting to come out about their pages okay certain people things are coming out about their pages 
So I want to just stick to the calls, y'all. All right? Trying to make a difference. And, you know, I done been called everything under the sun. Oh, she's a trick. She tells on people. She did. She that. She that. No, people tell on themselves. Okay, y'all? So that's just, just, just air that out right now. All right? People tell on themselves. And it's okay to report if people are stupid enough to tell on themselves. All right? It's okay to report if there's corruption of people that tells on themselves. It's okay to report this. Okay? It's okay to want better for your communities. It's okay to see things other people don't see and say something. Okay, y'all? So that's why I'm saying something right now. I'm saying something about this empire mess, death pyre mess. I don't believe they're innocent in this at all. I don't believe anybody's trying to sabotage them. Oh, no. From what I've heard from people that's close they enjoy this mess, okay? They are getting, they are coming up. They're sending their family members to college and all kind of stuff, okay? This is how they've gotten where they've gotten, okay? And I want y'all to think about two things when it comes to Dolph case and, and death pyre. Well, three. Number one, he came to the funeral, which means it was some business deals being made at that funeral, after the funeral, okay? It was some business deals being made. We heard about... You know, two chains. They're saying that his masters was sold to him. Who sold his masters to, to two chains? Ask yourself this question. Did Death Fire sell Dolph Masters? Because his family show didn't. Okay, y'all? Because his family did not own his masters. Death Fire did. So did Death Fire come to Dolph's funeral just to sell his masters and the only reason why he probably sold his masters if this is true y'all the only reason he probably sold those masters is because everybody everybody was going to be pointing the fingers at death pyre but if he sell those masters it make it look as if somebody else owned it not me okay a business deal behind closed doors this is why he don't like people to know that he's even signed with people. Okay. He don't like people to tell. That's one thing Mo3 used to do. He would tell. He would do a video showing who he signed with. All that stuff. Okay. He didn't like people to tell. He wanted things to be on the hush hush when he signed. I have paperwork. Okay y'all. And I look for it. I have so much stuff to go through. But I have paperwork of stuff that he put out to his artists. He really was. He really liked them to be quiet about the deals. Okay, y'all. Now that's number one. He came to the funeral. Number two is um, look who came for it first. Dolph would not go to one of his artists that he's close with that he think that he can trust. He would not go to no artist and tell no artist if something happens. Empire did it. Okay, I want you to know this. If something happens, Empire did it. Now that's red flag number two. Okay. Funeral? If something happens, he 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 had it done. That's number two. Okay, y'all? I want you to think about this one. Number three. How in the world did I want y'all to think real hard about this? How in the world did um Soldier Boy know all of Dolph's business? If Dolph wasn't telling everybody his business. Hmm? If Dolph wasn't telling his baby mama and everybody. His business. How in the world did Soldier Boy find out? And I want y'all to remember who was shaking hands with Death Pyre right after Mo3 was taken out. The person that was on the expressway when Mo3 was taken out was trapped. Soon as your artist is taken out, you're shaking hands with his ops, your record label, okay? And that's who I do believe, okay? So I'm going to say allegedly. This is who I do believe told Trap about the deal with Dolph, his record label. They let word of mouth get around that Dolph is working with $100 million, and he's trying to buy 
shares into empire. If you put that out to the universe, especially in trap them ears, red flags go off. Like this man working with this much money. Okay? Not only do it, the red flags come out about that, it makes other artists that's already haters, like CMG now. When they get back to people like that, that Dolph is trying to make major moves into big companies like Empire, which Empire don't want no black person owning part of their stuff in the first place. Okay? And like I said, when you sign up a contract with this man, be careful. Even as a partner. Because if he'll get, allegedly, allegedly, if he will, just think about it, if he will take out artists, allegedly, then do you think he have a problem with taking out a business, a business partner, y'all? I, I showed y'all the insurance label that they go through. I showed y'all. If you're a business partner, if you're an artist, and something happens to you, then your business partner, your managers, everybody, if they get you to sign that paper, they can put an insurance policy on you. I showed y'all the insurance policy that they used. Okay? Someone from the inside, let me know this. Okay, y'all? About the insurance policy. That was a fan of Mo 3's, y'all. So when I tell y'all, I've been digging on these people long enough to know some things. Oh, I have. So those three red flags came to the funeral to sell their masters, allegedly. Soldier Boy is told it gets down to Soldier Boy. So who in the world would brag about Dolph? not being independent who would brag about that somebody with a big mouth who can we find that can set it off on social media and get into an argument with Dolph and have inside scoop on Dolph's business that he is not independent and Soldier Boy wasn't lying the news was brought to Soldier Boy so that he can get on there and tell it and who is Soldier Boy's friend that's tied into all this mess. Trap. So the word gets to Trap. And then the word goes from Trap to Soldier Boy. So Soldier Boy does his job. Gets on social media. And tells Trap's business. Not Trap. Uh, Dolph's business. And then he says he will put a bag on him. Okay y'all? And then Dolph is taken out what? The next day? Death Pyre is not innocent in this, y'all. And see, this is how they get other people to do their dirty work. If you get other people to take out somebody, then, it, you know, it somewhat keeps your hands clean. This is how they look at it. This was the purpose of studying people. Okay, y'all? When a person goes to school to study other people, and not just study other people. I mean, they live with them to learn them, okay? When a person goes out of their way to do things like that, and not only they have a background of trying to do what these people you are doing, and they didn't make it doing it, so they go underground and study you, oh, it's for a higher purpose, and it's not for the help you, y'all, okay? So I just wanted to break this down to you all today. Do not believe this, okay? From my research, from me talking to someone that knows, that knows people in his circle, okay? Not only know him, this is what he does. He says he laughs about the come up, y'all, okay? Allegedly, all right? And like I told you, go look at interviews. Go look at people that work for him. I want y'all to think about the woman that he hired as his vice president, y'all. This is somebody that has some controversy stuff going on with herself. He hired someone allegedly, okay? This black female, he hired her. She used to be the person that manages Chris Brown. 
Okay? This is how I tell you he studied people. You get somebody from the inside, give them a good position, and then they bring over their what they know to the table. Okay, y'all? Now, allegedly, this woman had a thing, allegedly, for an artist. Allegedly, when this artist wanted to branch off from this woman, you know, they start, this artist started getting sabotaged for some things. Okay, y'all? And then now the latest was, and this artist, he's smart. He's very smart, y'all. And I told y'all he started hanging with the wrong people like Yellow now. Okay? And all of a sudden you start hearing these accusations start coming up against him. I said it. Ask anybody in my comment section, y'all. I knew it was coming. You have a female that just went to Empire. And you also is dealing with Trapping Yellow. It don't mix. Empire and trap them don't mix. Stay far away, allegedly, y'all, from the two. Okay? The two is tied to others. Trap is tied to mob ties, okay? And trap is tied to CMG, y'all. Okay? All of these are business deals that's taking place right now. And they feel like they are they are the person that, you know, the Grim Reapers. That they choose who go. They choose. So others can stay irrelevant. This is the game that's being played. So please, y'all, don't believe this. All right? This is one reason why I'm, you know, I've always been a strong person. And... When I meet people and I bump heads with people because, you know, I'm like, no, nah, that, no, 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 that's not what I know. People don't like to, I don't know, it's hard to explain this, but y'all know what I'm talking about. People don't like a strong minded person, especially a female. They don't like it. They don't, they cannot stand it. They try to give you your respect, but at the same time, some people give you your respect in the back of their mind is, you know, that person knew a lot, okay? And then they try to send people to change narratives, okay, y'all? Now, some people could be trying to change narratives and say, because this is how they feel. But some people is put on here because, you know, they're working together, okay, y'all? Um, I got struck by countdown. I told y'all I got struck by my page. He tried to strike my page. And, um, when he tried to strike my page, when somebody strikes your page, their information comes up. Is this is the person that struck your page. Y'all, that's not his name that struck my page. It is an Arab name that struck the page, y'all. So ask yourself, how is countdown done? The paperwork party tied to some Arabs, y'all. Ask yourself this question, okay? And I'm going to leave y'all with that, all right? So, I don't want my subscribers to be, like, left in the dark, like, wait a minute, you know, you just told us to subscribe to somebody's page, and then this person that you just told us to subscribe to their page, they just went off into left field and said that, you know, Empire, they could not know. They could not, they could start even doing a little digging, but they don't know. Okay, y'all. They could not, and when they, if they, if they take the time to really do some more research on this, they will see. Okay, they will see that it's not what they see right now. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna just say that. But I, I, I have to come up here, and I have to say something about this situation because I put too much sweat and tears into, and hours and hours and hours. My sister, too, okay, y'all? We put a lot of work into what we did with Mo3. I mean sitting up for days and nights straight from dark to morning, going over people's background, going over where this led us to, to that from Sacramento and all of this stuff where they were born at and all this other stuff from, you know, the people that work for them. Where are they from? What they did to study us? 
it ain't nothing nice y'all okay so just don't just 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 believe i'm gonna keep y'all on track as much as possible that i can all right so i had to respond to this because oh no 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 nobody's gonna come in and just say oh this is not what it is when i know okay allegedly it is what it is okay y'all anyway enjoy y'all sunday and I'm, ba I'm i'm back up here so i got some more stuff i want to talk to y'all about so i will be um i will be um doing another video right now i'm about to end this one and i want to say again congratulations to um the winners for this uh for this month for the cash giveaway congratulations to you both um I want to say this too the other day when I was mentioning everybody as far as the channels to keep up with and that's putting their work I forgot to put somebody in there and I wanted to make sure I put this person in there um Rose Gold she seems like she speaks from the heart um I feel like I have a connection with this person because of her drive for Dolph and it's like my drive for Mo3 um so I, I I left her out when I talked about true results and I said, you know, other channels. I wanted to make sure that I mentioned her. So shout out to her and the work that she's putting in. Um, because there's a lot of, art, you know, it's a lot of people that's putting in work. Um, a lot. It's hard to, you know, get to everybody, but I, I wanted to make sure I mentioned her because, um, she seems different than the others, okay? She gives people their props, everything. So I, I love that about when somebody speaks their mind and it's not about what people just steer them to believe. They go off of their own beliefs and they go after common sense, okay? I love that, okay? So I had to say something about that. Um, the list is growing, so I'm going to have to do the list over again, y'all. I'm, I'm going to do another video, and I'm going to announce all the cities and states that, you know, that are saying, you know, CMG is not welcome here in their camp and trap them, okay? So I'm going to relist that. There are people coming in the comment section from CMG, too, saying that, you know, they ain't worried about nothing, but... They ain't packing up their cars, leaving for nothing. So somebody's worried about something. Okay, y'all. Um, but it's not even about that. It's not even about being messy, going back and forth. CMG said this, and they said this, and that, that, that. It's not about that. It's about if your kids go to these concerts in these states, then I want the message to get to people. They might be able to talk to their kids, okay? And tell them, you know, I know this is your artist, favorite artist and stuff like that. But it's a lot of controversy going on right now. And places where they're going is getting hit up. And you have to be careful. Okay? So I want people to be able to tell their children that I know you like these artists. Okay? I like some artists. But that don't mean I'm about to go to their concerts. Because... Of the things that they're tied into. Okay. Of the everything. In any two time. You even have. I got to go eat y'all. I'm hungry. But any two time. That you have. I don't know. How do I break this down? Artists is just in the middle. In the middle of so much controversy. You know. Um, always in the middle of beefs. I want y'all to think about something else. T.I. recently just um, gave an award to Moneybag Yo or something for being the Trapper of the Year. You know, I want you to pay attention to T.I. T.I. names comes up in everybody's. Every time somebody's taken out, T.I. is always in the mix, okay? Just like what, and he makes it seem innocent, but it's not, allegedly. Okay, y'all? When Nipsey was taken out, T.I. was up there buying all the stuff, trying to make it seem like he was supporting the family. But, you know, if you lay in the bed with these people, this is just, in general, a saying. I'm not saying, oh, that he lay in the bed with them. I'm saying that when you deal with certain people and artists are coming up, demise, and your name keep popping up every time, and then you mingling and tingling with these people... 
then nine times out of ten, you're a part of the circle. Okay, so I'm going to just break it down like that. You're a part of the circle too. Okay, I used to love me some T.I., y'all. But I don't have no respect for T.I. anymore. I don't have no love for T.I. anymore. I'm done with T.I., okay, y'all? Because T.I. was in the middle of this Nipsey Hussle stuff. T.I. was in the middle of this Mo3 stuff. He was at that meeting with, with Ma Ties when Mo3 had that meeting in Houston. T.I. was there. Um, T.I. is popping up now in the middle of this Dolph stuff. You know, with all these fans and everybody peed off all over the world about what happened to Dolph, why would you give an award to Moneybag Yo? You know, it's like people taking their sides and they letting y'all know what they stand for and who they stand for, okay? And this, you know, it's not, it's people taking their sides that on Dolph's side. It's people taking their side on CMG's side. But the thing of it is, when you take that side and you keep continuing to take the side of the people that's, you know, taking people out because of jealousy, then it brings you down a notch. It brings down your legacy as well. So I want y'all to think about that, okay? Think about all of that. Why do certain bloggers, like Say No to Brain Cells, always defending the person that, you know, is the last one standing? Not the person that, you know, ain't doing nothing on nobody and just trying to make it and feed their families. He's always defending the people that's accused of something, okay? T.I. is always on the side of the people that's being accused, okay, y'all? So, I'm just saying, y'all have to look at all of this mess that's going on. These are a circle of, and a, you know, this is an organization, y'all, okay? And this organization is not allegedly... Uh, Nothing positive for their own race. They are people that allegedly takes out their own race just so they can stay in the positions that they are in. Okay, y'all? So anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video, y'all. Please try to watch some of the commercials um, to help the channel out. And I also want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. Uh, we hit the thousand subscribers over there at the other channel. So thank you all so much. I know it's going to be a little bit hard trying to keep up with both channels. So I'm going to stop doing the part one and the part two. If I do, you know, part one, part two, it'll be on the same page now. But I did that so that I could bring, you know, traffic to the other channel as well. Um, so thank you all. We have reached the thousand subscribers. So only thing I'm trying to go for now is the watch hours. Okay, you have to have 4,000 watch hours. So, I'm almost there, y'all. So, if you can go over to the second page and start watching some of the videos over there so we can hit those watch hours. Once we hit those watch hours, then we will be monetized on the other page. And I will be setting up the cash apps for the start going over there too and over on this page, okay? So, like I said, I do the cash apps as appreciation to my subscribers, Okay. Thank you all so much for so, your support. So we're one more, one more thing we got to do. Okay, y'all. So we did hit the thousand subscribers on the other channel. So thank you all so much. So, so much. Okay. Uh, we right at 25,000 on this page, y'all. You know, it's growing and it's growing because of a lot of good people too. A lot of good people on my page. Um, they go and they tell a friend. Go subscribe to her page. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. They had a kid subscribing. They, they make sure that the subscribers are coming in, y'all. So I just want to um, tell y'all thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some mornings I wake up, I be in and got like 200 new subscribers overnight. And I be like, man, you know, thank y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I, and I know that's coming from word of mouth because people send me messages telling me, Miss Lowdown, I done told everybody <laughs> about your page. And they subscribed. So I just wanted to say thank you. Okay, y'all. I didn't know this video was going to be no hour. But yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank y'all so much for watching. Peace.